Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn about a very important topic. That is, how do you submit idea using the center of excellence driven? What is the center of excellence first of all? Everything in detail we are going to learn in this video. So let's get started. First of all, we need to understand what is center of excellence. Who all are there in the center of excellence? It's just a team. The center of excellence team can contain your business analyst who will talk to the business, understand the process and then document them. So the business analyst is the main person for whom the CEO driven idea is actually created. And also in the CEO driven idea, you would have other people. For example, the subject matter expert of that process from the business side, the process consultants, the leads, and then you would have your process owner who would literally approve your idea what you have submitted, what you have documented, is it right or wrong? The process owner will approve the idea. So these are the people who will be part of your center of excellence. Once again, business analyst, subject matter experts, process consultants, and then your process owner. These are the people who will be part of your center of excellence. Now, how do you submit an idea? The business analyst had gone to the business and then she had learned what is the business, what is the automation they would like to look for and she, is, she has to document them in Automation Hub. She has to submit an idea and based on her documentation, the process owner will review that and approve it. We will see the entire process. For that, first of all, you launch UiPath Automation Hub and then click on Submit Idea. This is the very first step. Hit on Submit Idea. Here you have to select your business area. This list could be different because you have the option to add your own list of departments. For example, here I have added vendor team. I have shown that in the previous video. Now here, let me select finance and accounting. Category, I'm going to say invoice to payment, accounts payable, invoice to payment. Subcategory, I'm going to say invoice processing. After you have selected the business area, category and subcategory, these are optionals. Business area is mandatory. Then as a business analyst, I'm going to select the second option, which is COE driven idea. And I'm going to hit on next. The moment you hit on next, this is the page you would come up, come up to. Here, if you see, there is an overview section. That means you would provide the automation name, automation ID, description, all of these things you will have to fit. At the end, if you see, Assign process owner, the business owner to whom the business analyst might have spoken. They need to be added here so that they will review this idea in Automation Hub and approve it. I'm going to show you at the end of the video, how would you assign a process owner, a BA and all of those things I am going to show you. Okay. However, if you know the process of adding someone in Automation Hub, it is pretty clear. If not, at the end, I will show you. Now look at it. The business analyst has the job or the duty to fill this entire form. Let's start. For example, I am saying invoice processing for, I will write some team, let's say ABC or some, let's say for, for US, for example, invoice processing for US. Now automation ID, you might be following certain practices. The BA would be aware of it. If not, they can start. Let's say for invoice processing, I have some automation ID I, I'm going to uh, add. For example, uh, for example, my companies, for example, ABC hyphen RPA hyphen 005, for example, I'll put some ID. Then I will write some description. Let me write few description. I've kept it in a notepad. I'm going to paste it. Our organization receives high volume of invoices from various vendors via email. Currently, the process involves manually shorting these invoices, matching them with corresponding purchase orders, performing necessary checks, and ultimately processing the payments. This manual approach is time consuming, prone to errors and lack of efficiency. We need streamlined solution to automate and optimize this end to end invoice processing. Workflow to enhance accuracy, reduce processing time and improve the overall operational efficiency and cost. Okay, you can write your own sentences as a BA. You know, he or she is going to enter all the details. 
when this is done what are your pain points pain point is like time consuming right you could get errors while processing right all of this are happening and what is the negative impact because of this maybe penalty and fines okay so all those things you can describe now once you have filled the about the overview okay overview is this section then about is this section okay overview i mean it is part of this so he, once you have filled this the next section is detailed assessment you can just simply click on it and go to the section or if you scroll down also it brings you that section automatically so now i am in the detailed assessment this is very important for the business analyst to fill it okay now this default detailed assessment can also customize based on your need by the admin he can go to the platform setup and there he can customize these questions however this is as per the best experience and knowledge this assessment form is already curated now let's look at it let's answer this question primary reason to automate the process what is the primary reason you would like to automate the process it could be cost quality productivity so or it could be either one of them or all of them so for example the primary the primary one let's say cost we are paying a lot of penalty so you can you can say enter that you know annually we are paying penalty and operational cost so put together is a high cost operational cost so like that we can provide as much detail as required okay ignore that and then environment stability process changes expected in the last six months environment stability okay so this window might slightly look different something like this okay i hope you can see it okay cost so and here you can write the comment environment penalty process changes expected in the six months no change expected okay uh, application process would remain the same application changes yes there is a minor change expected what the outlook version might get upgraded now employee profile not might you know it right so we'll get up, upgraded average working day per year for example maybe 250 days including excluding the holidays and saturday sundays and all that working hours per day let's say you're working 8 hours per day average employee full cost per year so this value is important so that you get the cost benefit analysis what is the cost of operating this so this value is important i would consider the ba to enter this so for example here i am putting some value uh, let's say 40000 dollars per year average employee cost okay the employee cost per year is or it maybe i'll put some realistic value let's say 15 000 okay 15 000 dollars is average no i think this is too less right average cost let's, let's put 40 000 dollars okay and all of this the ba will get these informations from the business while they are speaking to the business they will capture all this information all right and then whatever they are entering this has to be approved by the business owner right the process the business owner has to finally approve it or the process owner has to approve it now process volumetry this is the next so we have entered the uh, you know all of this right detailed assessment we have done we have done the automation goal what is the goal my goal is to save the cost and then um, i have gone through the environment stability um, uh, right so environment stability no exchange expected minor change expected in the application that we have done next will come to employee profile so employee profile we have entered all of this uh, 40000 dollars next comes the process volumetry so what is the frequency of the number of transactions that you get T task process frequency so process frequency let's say daily activity volume average uh, selected frequency so daily how much how many volume you get i get 100 100 what per company or per employee so per company total i am getting every day on an average 100 per company number of employees performing the task so there are 10 employees who are performing the task that means each person is processing 10 10 invoices average processing time per transaction so they are taking almost 10 minutes to process one transaction 
they are just not only processing invoices they are also having other works this is one of their work so this is the average volume i have captured from the business once it is done if you see it tells you your company spending 4167 hours per year so it will automatically compute based on the numbers that you provide here so having accurate numbers do make sense right so ensure you get the proper values from the business after this the next is total processing time we have got next would be average error rate okay average error rate we are still in the process volumetry average error rate so maybe five percent are error you can get this from the business average rework per transaction how much minute do you spend let's say i'm spending five minutes to rework on the to make the recorrections right so total rework time is 104 hours per year that you got it average work to review sometimes all this transaction gets into audit there will be a quality team who would come and audit your uh, uh, transactions that you have done are you paying it properly are you not paying less or more right all this audit they will do quality check they will do so maybe uh, the average audit maybe let's say i will say two percent of the overall volume average review audit time per transaction maybe let's say six minutes average audit total audit time you are spending your company spending 50 hours so 50 hours 104 hours so all these are extra times being spent total time needed to perform as is is 4321 so this is a summation of your 4167 104 50 4321 okay so we got this total hours the company is spending as is ft is required so it will also calculate because your employees are not fully involved for eight hours right they are taking 10 minutes they are getting 10 transactions so how much time around 10 minutes into 10 around 100 transactions 100 minutes they are spending right uh, so le less than two, two hours they are spending so it will calculate based on that it will calculate okay number of actual fts that you need uh, for this one is 2.16 your actual ft full-time employee ft means Cost per year for as is process is 86,000. Now, this value do make sense. Only when you have these values with you, you can compare whether I should go for the automation or not. So, this having a cost angle to it definitely gives you a decision point. So, you got the cost of running the business as is. Okay. Now, if there are any correction, anyways, finally, we are going to submit it to the process owner who will review it and give us suggestions wherever the or he will make the edit wherever required. Now, process ways of working, process peaks. Sometimes you know, sometimes there will be process peaks will be there. So in December, there will be high peak. So if you have such things, you can put it. For the moment, I'll simply put it as regular. Average number of steps, right? A process uh, less than 20, how many steps you have, right? Uh, average number of steps, let's say less than 20 steps. Number of ways to complete the process. Do you have lot many deviations or uh, processes completed the same way every time? or there are deviations there could be deviations so i'll select this one and you can write those comments here data input percentage of digital data input what is your percentage so i'll put 100 percent all are our digital inputs scan data we don't have or sometimes we may have when you are receiving invoices what is that you can mention percent of structured digital data input is greater than 80 percent so all these are important Okay, so you have entered the data input now. Now, if you scroll down, next comes is application. Okay, so next is application. So here in the application stage, you have to um, you know enter what are the different applications that you're using. For example, I'm using SAP S4 HANA on premise, and I'm using let's say Adobe PDF. I'm using let's say Outlook. Okay. Um, and then let's say I'm using any other application. So you can mention your own application. For example, any of your separate application that you're using, let's say I'm putting ABC, just an example. So all of these things you can enter. Okay. Um, ABC app. Select this. Okay. So you can see all the app has been added. You can write the version, the language and all of this. Thing. You know, you can put entire details of this. Now, once it is done, it gives you a score. Benefit per company R saved per year is 4, 2, 3, 5. You will say it will give you an estimation. And it will also give you a small table. Automated potential is 98%. You can automate it. Ease of implementation is 100%. 
benefit per company r saved is 4 2 3 5 benefit per company currency year is this is the cost right operating cost benefit per company is 2.12 fts you can save hours saved per year benefit to the employee hours saved 424 hours per year we can save it ben per employee benefit per employee currency per year we can save per employee currency this much benefit per employee ft 0.21 so all this you know data it is going to help you if you would like to understand more you can read them per company divided by the number of employees okay so like this you get all the benefits now at the end once the business analyst has entered all the data the final requirement is assigned to a process owner who will review your idea so who would be the process owner process owner could be the one who will be who has the authority to approve for automation because finally he will approve that cost of development and all of this right so that person you have to add so here for example i'll simply add my own name just but again it will be the person who has that authority that person needs to be added here the question is how would i add that person in automation hub that will be next question I'll, i'm going to clarify that so right now i have added the process owner for example and i'm going to hit on submit are you certain that you want to submit your idea for review process owner submit okay so this is the job done by the business analyst so far and the idea has been submitted to the process owner i'm going to show you what is happening after you have submitted okay so it will bring you to this page so you have submitted invoice processing us and this idea is now in awaiting review now awaiting review for what for assessment assessment awaiting review now how do you add a process owner now what happens once you add the process owner right who would be approving it by default if you open this idea and go to collaborator you would find because here i have added my own name and yes i am the person who submitted and i am the person who is going to so you can see coe idea submitter a process owner but actually this will be a different person who would be whom you would be adding so like this it will be get automatically added but how do you add him to automation that is the first question okay and here if you see that idea this idea uh, all the details that the business analyst has documented is now in the about section you see is there in the about section and then if you click here assessment awaiting review so you have submitted so it went for awaiting review now who should approve the process owner is supposed to approve the process owner and the business analyst both have to be you know added with a role called authorized user for example i'll go here go to manage acts assign roles okay so let's say uh, some person i'm going to select for example here i'm going to select now here what kind of access i should provide him as a process owner is authorized user there will be something called authorized user so this is the i can remove the standard user provide authorized user this access should be provided as per the uipa documentation to business analyst you have to provide and also you can provide this to process owner who will be approving it authorized user and hit on save so these persons now will have authority to approve things okay so now what would happen once you have submitted this if i go back to the workspace my submission ideas click here okay now imagine i am the process owner who will be approving so how would i approve it is something i, I want to show you so i'll come here and he will get a notification that something has come to you for approval and then choose here i would select here i can select so i am doing the assessment right now assessment what happened the assessment is now awaiting review right rejected not started in progress postpone on hold reject so here i what i will do i will say it is in awaiting review so here i will say in progress and update so what i am doing now i am trying to go through the assessment okay so once i am fine with the assessment and i am happy with the value i am going to qualify this so to qualify this qualification awaiting review so i'll click on choose another phase and here here or sometime directly uh, you know here you see the current status i'll select this and the next stage is qualification so here i'll go to qualification and i'm going to say approved and update done now what happened the idea is approved and this idea now will go to the technical teams where you will start the period creation by the BA, then the solution design document by solution architect, 
and then the development will start by the developers so as you move forward the project manager manager will come here and he will start adding the collaborators whomever he needs for example i have to assign the, this to ba for the process definition document i will do it i need to assign it to solution architect for the solution design document so i'll add all the collaborators as needed as the process flows who will do this project manager will do it or the program manager will continue to follow the process now all the things that are happening right here we can add the comment so for example um, you know xyz person has submitted the uh, uh, idea so all the whatever each person is involving they can put their own comment and submit so it is going to store all this comment in date format so you know the history of things that are happening for this idea okay and you can easily know where this idea is currently if i go to all ideas i can search with the name or i'll simply go to my submission ideas and here i would see this has moved to now qualification stage and it is approved so now this is where we have to assign the project manager or the pro program manager or someone who would be managing this entire thing you know he will assign developers and all those things so this is the entire process that you have seen with respect to center of excellence driven idea submission so thank you for watching we are going to come up with one more such videos with a lot of learnings thank you